Good morning, kids. It's Mrs. Olson. And I just wanted to let you know that I've missed you the last couple of weeks. And I know that when we left off um, speaking, we were talking about praying. And we talked about how you can pray in the car. You can pray in the shower. You can pray when you're walking. You can pray with mommy and daddy, or you can pray by yourself. Yes, you can pray anytime. And particularly, we were talking about Hannah. Hannah and her husband went to the temple. And when they got there, Hannah went into the temple. And she knelt down, and she started talking to God. Yes, praying is talking to God. And she started crying. But words weren't coming out her mouth. But she was praying in her heart to God. And Eli, the priest, he came out and he, he thought she was crazy. He thought she was nuts. But she said, Eli, I'm praying. I'm asking God to give me a baby boy. I really want a baby boy. And Eli told Hannah, God has heard your prayers. And before you know it, sure enough, God brought Hannah a little baby boy. And she named him Samuel. Can you say Samuel? Very good, yes. The baby's name is Samuel. And Hannah loved him so much. She thanked God for him every day. She was so thankful to have this baby boy. But Hannah remembered what she prayed about. Because when she prayed and asked for the little boy, she told God that she would give him back so that he could serve him. So when Samuel was big enough, Hannah took him to Eli. Back to the temple they went. And I'm sure before she left, she prayed again and said, God, please take care of my little baby Samuel. Help him to love you and serve you all his life. And that's exactly what Samuel ended up doing. But every year as Samuel grew, Hannah would come back every single year. And guess what Hannah brought him? A brand new coat. How many of you like to get new clothes and new coats? Raise your hand. I do too. I like getting new coats and clothes. Well, every year, Samuel's mommy, Hannah, brought him a new coat. And he was so happy to see his mommy. And he was doing a very good job of serving God. He prayed every day for his mommy. And I'm sure his mommy prayed every day for him. So remember, you can pray for mommies and daddies. You can pray for sisters and brothers. You can pray for your puppies and your kitties. You can pray about anything because when we pray, we're just talking to Jesus, right? Do you remember who Jesus is? Yes, I bet you do. Jesus is God. That's right. Jesus is God and he loves us so much. He came here because he loves us so much and he died a terrible death on the cross but he died on that cross for our sin do you remember what our sin is sin is anything you do anything you say anything you think that displeases God that's right so when mommy and daddy tell you to pick up your shoes and put them in the shoe basket and you do it right away, that's obeying mommy and daddy, and that makes Jesus very happy. But if mommy and daddy say, it's time to pick up your toys, we have to go somewhere, and you don't do it, and you keep playing with your toys, that's sin, right? What is sin? Sin is anything you do, anything you say, anything you think that displeases God. And when we displease God, we displease mommy and daddy. That's when we sin, we're displeasing them. So remember to obey mommy and daddy because when they make mommy and daddy happy, you also make Jesus happy. And who is Jesus? Jesus is God. That's right. All right, kids, I hope I get to see you in a couple of weeks and we'll begin a new story session, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.